Hello and welcome to The Watches TV. Let's talk technique today with the quality factor, in other words, the Q factor. The Q factor is the best indicator to determine the precision of a watch regulator. We attended a few weeks ago a conference given by Mr. Douglas Bateman, an English physicist specialist of this field. So let's go and listen to him. Well, simply it's the balance wheel that oscillates. The spring is the restoring force, with a pendulum you have gravity as the restoring force and with a tuning fork the steel, the elasticity of the steel is the restoring force and all of these have an effect on the quality of the oscillator whether it has good internal damping or not. For example a quartz tuning fork, the crystalline structure of quartz is such that the losses internally are very small indeed so it makes a very good oscillator on its own. If it could be struck with a hammer it would sound for a very long time but of course you do it electronically and maintain and that has high Q which is often known as quality factor and it came out of the early days of radio when the term was used to describe a particular parameter for the tuning of the circuit when you're listening to a radio, a distant radio station you adjust the radio to pick it up and of course then it became to be used, recognized as a quality factor and applied to all sorts of other oscillators or to resonant circuits other than the radio coil. So it can be applied to horology, engineering, atomic physics, all sorts of subjects. It's a very useful term. Well there are two challenges. One, it has to be manufactured of course in a productive manner so that could compromise what I would consider the quality of the oscillator so that you need uh, ideally for precision timekeeping a very high Q oscillator because that maintains the purity of the fundamental note um, but of course you could compromise that because you've got to make them mass produced millions and of course in a watch the traditional lever escapement is often self-starting which of course is a compromise that you have to make but if you go for some more exotic material, it may not be self-starting and that may be not quite so useful for a consumer. To raise the cue of a balance wheel, you could make the rim of a very high density material, tungsten, platinum or gold, and that would store more energy. But you would also look to reducing uh, the energy losses as it swings. You would want it to be aerodynamically fairly clean and um, so the pivot losses would be small and anything in the escapement. So you want a very high ratio of stored energy to energy loss per swing. Mm -hmm. 